Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. That's Right at Homeschool. I'm Mrs. T. And today I'm really excited to share with you a information about a piece of curriculum that we just finished. And that's going to be the Get Ready for the Code Book A from the um, Explode the Code Primer series. This is a phonics program meant for some early reader, pre-reader, um, and it's a start before the main Explode the Code phonics program. So let's go ahead and just hop right into it. So excited. <laughs> Okay, so this series of books um, you can purchase from another a number of different locations. I bought the the books the all three of them through Amazon for about thirty six dollars total, um, which I thought was a little bit steep when you're considering that these are consumable books for like a pre K maybe kindergarten level, depending on your child. Um, so I wanted to make them a little bit more usable. <laughs> And I wanted us to be able to circle back and practice if we need to and to use them with my other children. So what we actually did is I removed the paper, um, the content from this book and it is glued. So it wasn't very easy. I used a blow dryer, hot setting, and I peeled them out and then I laminated the pages. And um, now we have a nice reusable program, even though we've finished this one. We can circle back with my child, do additional practice, or do it with a sibling. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so the first book only covers some very basic consonants and not everything. It's going to cover the letters F and B, M, R, T, and K. K was the last one. And the way that they expose these letters to your child are pretty formulaic in a way. So almost every letter is introduced first with this little practice. You are going to get this little sheet and it's going to be comparing. Um, there'll be a row of different pictures and the bottom one's going to be of letters and your child has to identify what is different in the row. So it gets them sort of looking for those small changes. As the book progresses, finding those differences becomes a little bit more difficult. This is the very first one. Um, but they become a little bit more subtle. So your child is looking for those subtle differences. It then introduces the letter with this giant picture um, with a lowercase letter inside of the picture. And it will give you the instructions for the parent, like how to introduce it. And then also how to introduce the capital and the lowercase letters as well. After this, I believe it's for every single letter, you do some very basic pencil control. Again, these ones, um, these lines are a little bit less complicated than they are later, but essentially you're going to be having your child draw a line that's going to be curved, different shapes, etc., from the lowercase and the uppercase letters um, to the pictures that start with that sound. So for example, you're drawing a line to the fish, the fan, the football, and the fork, and your child is going to be going through that, that f -f -f fish, f -f fork or what have you as they're doing the lines. They're then challenged to look into this um, this box on this side and they will see a letter. And this is gonna be the letter that they're focusing on. And as they get further to the end, they will also be challenged to like review the letters they've already done. So they'll look at the letter and they'll have to circle the letters that match the one inside the box. Then, <laughs> It comes with like a little coloring activity. Now, I think I've talked about this in previous videos. My kid is pretty hit or miss with coloring. And because I laminated these, it didn't really make sense. So we pretty much had um, him circle them or point to them. And again, as you get further along, rather than these empty spots here, these will be filled with different letters. So your child is kind of looking through a little sea of letters in order to find the letters that they're looking for. So identifying those capital and lowercase letters. Now, this is my, or our favorite part that we loved of this program. Next, you have for every single letter, some instructions for the teacher. These are going to be short descriptions that you as the parent are going to sit down and read verbatim. And it is going to be describing these pictures that are found on the following page. So for example, you'll read a small little paragraph that describes maybe a football 
and your child will be tasked to maybe circle the football, color the football, maybe draw a fish at the end of the, foot of the uh, fishing line, color the, the fingernail. They're, they're given different tasks. And that was really fun. It was like kind of like a um, an I spy guess in 10. Like it was kind of like a mix. So you know what the answers could be, but your child has to like discern what it is through clues, which was pretty neat. Um, then we have this page. <laughs> then we have another one where you are, um, your child is instructed to say the sound that starts um, like fish in this example, and then to color or circle each, um, each picture that starts with that same sound. So just starting to practice. Now you will notice one thing um, across all of the, these pages and all the way through this book and all the way through the series, I believe, is they reuse a lot of the same pictures. So your child does like, there's not a lot of question once they're exposed to the picture. Like, what does this picture mean? What does this one mean? There's not that conversation. They're able to look at the picture of like fishing or finger or what have you. And they're able to like kind of practice hearing that, that sound and associating to the pictures, if that makes sense. We then get into our actual writing practice. So we do some lowercase letters. Um, I'm gonna skip the next page because I wanna show this one as well. And eventually you'll do some more tracing and then you'll be doing some copy work here. Now this one down here is going to be a little bit different. Um, they're going to be showing you different uh, pictures that again, you'll be seeing throughout the whole series. And in here, you will get, um, your child will identify, does this fish start with the f sound? Oh great, it does. He's gonna circle the fish and then he's gonna write a lowercase f. And then we also practice a little bit more. He wanted to, he's a completionist. <laughs> so he wanted to actually write the other letters as he got further along in the program as well. So we practice writing that. Uh, we also have, this page here, which is very similar as you guys have already seen to some of the other stuff. So practicing the sound of the letter and which picture is going to start with that same sound. And then the last, I guess the last one um, that we have here as my example is going to be again, very similar. Um, say the name of the picture and the sound at the beginning circle the letter that makes the sound and then write the letter. So you're kind of practicing all of the same thing. Now, what did we think? As a phonics program, it was a good program. I We, we like it, we're really enjoying it. Is my child reading from it? No, <laughs> but it's been a really good program because we've been doing our writing practice. He's been um, getting some good, just like, it's like good sitting down time. It's good practice for those those be beginning consonants, and it is very light in the sense of um, it does introduce things very slowly. So as you see, we just did like 10 pages, 10 worksheets, all revolving around the letter F and the sounds that it makes and different activities. And each set is going to be very similar. It might have some, you know, variations to the activities that they're doing, but that's basically it. There's no like cutting and pasting. There's no nothing crazy. Um, it's very simple. And for you as the teacher, it's very grab and go. Would I recommend it? Well, at this point, yeah, I think I would. I think I would. We'll see how it goes through the rest of them, but especially using it in conjunction with the other phonics programs that we are using, it has been a really good supplement and it's a good writing practice, especially for his preschool age. I just feel like the amount of writing is perfect. Again, he's not a big colorer, so it's easy color, color, lover. <laughs> so, but it's very easy to make those adjustments. Well, that is it, you guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Have you used this program and specifically this primer series? Let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited. We've started, like I said, book B now, which is covering um, a number of other consonants. So I'm pretty looking forward to it. So that is it, you guys. Until next time, have a great day. Happy phonics learning, and we'll talk soon. Bye, everyone.